Hello, all my dear Virgo friends. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your August forecast right here. And I'm going to give it to you in just a few seconds. But first, I have an announcement that I think many of you are going to want to know about. Um, the economy. I can stop right there, right? The economy is such that this is a time when people need a reading more than ever, but can afford it less than ever. And so I am offering an, a, a special August special, okay? Uh, it will include all my normal offerings. That is um, a discounted price on my six month forecast, 12 month forecast and birth chart, okay. However, there is a special offering. Uh, I've never done this before. Uh, I mean, years and years ago, people used to come to my office for readings. Now we do everything on Zoom. Well, I've had so many requests from some of you that I am offering um, a, a Zoom session with you face-to-face, one-on-one, just the two of us. And it will take place while I'm giving you your reading. So you're gonna get a video of the two of us having a wonderful time with us speaking to each other, seeing one another, and you receiving um, the answers to your questions, which you can answer on the spot, which you can ask, excuse me, you can ask on the spot. So I hope that this will uh, give you exactly what you had hoped it would. Um, and remember that this special is good through the month of March. All right, now let's talk about your amazing forecast, shall we? Let's start with Jupiter. Jupiter is the greater benefic. It blesses everything it touches. It expands everything. It's in the eighth house of other people's money, okay? And what this means is, um, well, let me go on a little more with the eighth house. It's the house of secrets, um, uh, joint finances, transformation. And so Jupiter means in the eighth house means a lot of that. Thing is, it's retrograde now, so it's not living up to its full potential. In a couple of months when it goes direct, it will. And so lots of secrets, lots of expansion of the psychic realm. And that means your ability um, as a psychic individual this is really beautiful. All right. Then Mars is the red planet. It has been and will be in the ninth house of the higher mind. Higher mind uh, being the big picture. You're seeing a, a, you're seeing life through new eyes, and you're seeing that there are options open to you that you never knew were available. I really love this. It uh, deals with this area deals with long range um, travel. Um, it deals with a higher mind. It deals with publishing. It deals with people from foreign countries. You are stretching out and your horizon keeps expanding. It's glorious. Now, Mars is the planet of war. It's what we'll fight with and fight for. And so here we've got lots of um, fight, vim, vigor, and vitality being poured into your principles, the principles you believe in. I think it's terrific. On the 20th, Mars moves into your 10th house of career and public image. And when Mars is in the 10th house, you let out all of your ambitions and you move upward. So if you're offered a position of advancement, of leadership, go for it. Venus, the planet of love and beauty, is the lesser benefic. That doesn't mean it's a negative planet. 
what it means is that um, it brings love, it brings money, it brings happiness. It's in your 11th house of humanitarian projects and just your friends in general. And you're having a great time being a friend as well as being with friends. On the 11th, Venus moves into your 12th house of behind the scenes activities. And what this says is that um, you want your solitude, you want your privacy. So tell your friends you still love them. You just need to be alone. Okay. And we have the yellow planet. That's the sun. And the sun is the center of our life. It is in the 12th house of behind the scenes activities. So that this is a preparatory time for you because everybody's solar chart one month before their birthday as the sun in the 12th house. You're dealing more on a, a subconscious level. You're wanting more solitude and privacy, maybe because with Venus in the 12th house, there is a special love interest that is nobody's business, okay? And on the 22nd, the sun moves into your first house and you're saying, I am doing what I want, when I want, how I want, because I want. This is great. Now, Mercury, the blue planet, that's what we think about and talk about. Um, it's not an action planet, it's a thought planet. Uh, it's in your 12th house of the subconscious, you're looking more uh, inward. And on the fourth, it moves into your first house and you're talking about yourself, you're sharing your ideas. And then on the 15th, Mercury moves into your second house of money. You're thinking about how to increase it. Perfect. We have a full moon on the 11th. And on a full moon, everything comes to a head. It's in your sixth house of work, health, and service. And so this is a time when uh, you want to get busy on the job and that there can be more action. The uh, full moon is in 19 degrees of Aquarius. Look for that in your birth chart as well. Wait two weeks for the new moon. Um, two days before the new moon, there is no energy. On the new moon, everything starts moving forward. The new moon is in your first house. And on August 27th, that is the new moon in for Virgo. And so this is, new moon says that your mantra is, I'm doing what I want, when I want, how I want, because I want. I think this is awesome. So awesome is your middle name. Happy birthday. And I hope to see you next month. When once again, I take a look at your forecast. Until then, this is Maxine Taylor saying, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.